In the art world, in painting is a conservation technique used to restore damaged or deteriorated artwork. It involves filling in areas of missing paint or other media to make the artwork appear complete and visually seamless. In Leonardo, you have two tools for in-painting, masking and erasing. Masking allows you to make targeted modifications to certain parts of the image while retaining color, subject and style details under the mask. On the other hand, erasing is used to make alterations to specific areas in the image while removing what is under the mask. Essentially, you're looking to completely regenerate these particular areas of your image. Now let's take a look at an example. Here's an image I created earlier using the 3D animation model. I'd like to change her eyes to purple without significantly altering their shape or contours. This is an ideal scenario for using masking because I want to retain the original shape of the eyes and only change their color. Now, let's transfer the image to Canvas Editor where we can address this using In Painting. Click on the three dots and then select Edit in Canvas. The default setting in Canvas Editor is In Paint Out Paint but just to be sure, double check that it's configured to enable in painting. You can use the Draw Mask button on the toolbar to paint a mask over the areas of the image you want to modify or refine. When you activate the mask option, a slider appears at the top that allows you to control the thickness of the masking brush. Once you've masked an area, you can provide a prompt for the image. In my case, I used purple eyes. Let's generate. As you can see, the eyes are now purple, but their general shape hasn't changed much. I clicked on Cancel to show you an important feature called Render Density. This setting enables you to render the image within the square at a higher resolution than the rest of the image. This is particularly handy when you require high detail for a specific part of an image, such as the hands or, in our case, the eyes. When I increase the density, the square becomes smaller. Therefore, I need to position it over the eyes. When I generate, you might not immediately notice a difference. However, when you compare the two side by side, you can see that the eyes generated with double density have more detailed lines and contours. To remove a mask, select the Select tool, choose the masked area and press the Delete button on your keyboard. Now you'll notice that the girl in my image has these odd sleeves on her arms. I'd like to remove them and have her wear a sleeveless top. This is a perfect scenario for using the eraser because I don't want to preserve any part of that weird looking sleeve. Once I select the Erase tool, I can specify the thickness of my erasure. Now let's remove the unwanted part and place the square over the area. For the prompt, I'll simply use Arm and hit Generate. I get to choose between two different options because I set the image count to two. Just click on Accept for the option you prefer. So I'll accept it and move on to the other arm where I'll repeat the same process. Erase the part I don't want, position the square over the area where I want a new image generated and click on Generate. This time the AI generated a sleeve for me probably because it didn't have much of a naked arm as a reference to work with. So, I'll need to be more precise with my prompt. I'll cancel, change the prompt to sleeveless arm and generate. That's much better. Of course, you can repeat this process as many times as you like using the eraser or masking tool until you're satisfied with your image. And once you're done, don't forget to download it. Otherwise, all your changes will be lost. 
Thank you so much for watching and I hope you'll join me soon in my next video.